In this video, we'll find the percent composition by mass of the water here in iron 2 sulfate heptahydrate. So you can imagine if we have a sample here, you'd want to know how much of the mass in that sample is due to the water. To do this, we need to figure a few things out. We want to get the molar mass of just H2O, water, and that turns out to be 18.02 grams per mole. We multiply that by the number of water molecules seven water molecules. We're going to multiply that by seven and that'll give us the molar mass of just the seven water molecules here in this compound. Next, we divide this by the molar mass of everything up here, the FeSO4 and the 7H2O. When we do that, we end up with 151.92 and again grams per mole. So this is the information we need to figure out the percent composition by mass of the water here in the iron 2 sulfate heptahydrate. So we multiply the 18.02 times 7 and then we get a number which we divide by the 151.92. When we do that division, grams per mole is on the top and the bottom, it cancels out. We multiply this by 100 to get a percent. We end up with 45.36 percent. And what this number means is that if we had a mass of iron 2 sulfate heptahydrate, 45.36 percent would be due to the water in the compound. Another way you can think about this is if you have 100 grams of this substance here, you know that 45.36% of this is going to be just the water. And since you have 100 grams, 45.36% of 100, that would mean you'd have 45.36 grams in 100 grams of FeSO4 7H2O. That's how you find the percent composition by mass of the water in this iron 2-sulfate heptahydrate. If you need help finding the molar mass for this compound, there's a link in the description, and then there's a card at the end of this video. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.